All right, now our tale of the take for this Bantamweight scrap. Sterling is four years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Are right, you ready? You ready? And we're underway at United Center here in Chicago, Illinois. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. And he's looking for that left. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Oh! Nice straight oh. right. Wow! He's got him right here. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Back to his feet. Body kick, look at that. Good defense there. Kick to the body by Sterling. How about that shin? Start to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. And he landed the right hand there. Doubling up on the jab. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. He gets the mounted crucifix. Looking for the choke, see if he can get his hands together. Control. Nice knee to the body there by Duquesne Walk. And back up again. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, spinning back fist. He solved it right there. Very nice. Clean punch. Just out of range with that right hook. Back to over under. Front kick to the body. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice knee to the body. High Whoa! kick! He hurt him. This could be it! Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Yep. He's moved back to half guard. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Kick to the body by Tukanwa. Cracks him oh, there with the right huge hand. Right hand. That one hurt. Well, he walked into his opponent's range there and ate that hook. He was unprotected, unguarded, and he's been susceptible to that hook in previous UFC fights. Got to figure out a way to move those feet and ultimately circle out and get that head off the center line. Passes into half guard. Looks like he's trying to set up some sort of choke here, Joe. Good strike there by Duquesne. 
15 seconds remain in the round. Wow! Unbelievable! Whoa. Beautiful knockout for the KO victory as the round was ending. Wow, Joe, just incredible. Just when I thought I was going to start asking you about what adjustments they could make for the next round, we get the end of the fight. A huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in to stop the action there. Near perfect execution on that fight ending sequence. We can see it one more time from a different angle. Ground and pound at its finest. And that is the shot that ends this fight. Watch this again here. I mean, just stiff. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. We go inside the Octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 49 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Tom Fireton Dukas. So there he is, the man of the moment, certainly maximized the showcase here tonight.